Passion Travail is a chain specializing in everything related to travel, street food, and like subscribe if you like the content. Brochettes, skewered and grilled meat, usually made with beef, goat, or chicken, marinated in spices and served with a side of spicy sauce. Brochettes are a popular street food in Burundi, as well as in many other countries across Africa. They are skewered and grilled meat kebabs that offer a delicious and flavorful experience. Here's more information about brochettes. Meat selection. Brochettes can be made with various types of meat, including beef, goat, chicken, or even fish, depending on personal preference and availability. Beef and goat meat are particularly common choices. Marination. The meat is typically marinated before grilling to enhance its flavor and tenderness. The marinade often consists of a combination of spices, herbs, oil, vinegar, lemon juice, garlic, and onions. The exact ingredients and proportions can vary depending on regional variations and personal preferences. Skewering After marinating, the meat is threaded onto skewers. The skewers can be made of metal, bamboo, or other suitable materials. The meat is often layered with chunks of onions, bell peppers, or other vegetables for added flavor and variety. Grilling The skewered meat is then grilled over an open flame or charcoal fire. The grilling process imparts a smoky and charred flavor to the meat while ensuring it is cooked to perfection. The brochettes are typically turned regularly to ensure even cooking and prevent burning. Serving Brochettes are usually served hot and fresh off the grill. They are commonly enjoyed as a street food snack or as part of a larger meal. Brochettes are often accompanied by a variety of condiments, such as spicy peanut sauce, chili sauce, or mustard which add extra flavor and complement the grilled meat, side dishes. Brochettes are often served with side dishes such as french fries, rice, or grilled plantains. These sides provide a balanced and satisfying meal. Kachambari, a refreshing salad made with diced tomatoes, onions, and cucumbers, dressed with lemon juice, salt, and sometimes chili peppers. Kachambari is a popular East African salad that is commonly enjoyed in Burundi and other neighboring countries. It is a refreshing and vibrant salad made with diced tomatoes, onions, and cucumbers, typically dressed with lemon juice, salt, and sometimes chili peppers. Here's more information about Kachambari. Ingredients The main ingredients in Kachambari are tomatoes, onions, and cucumbers. Additional ingredients can include green or red bell peppers, fresh herbs like cilantro or parsley, and sometimes chili peppers for added heat. Preparation. The tomatoes, onions, and cucumbers are finely diced into small pieces. The salad can be customized to personal preference by adjusting the quantities of each ingredient. Some variations may involve slicing the vegetables into thin strips or using different types of onions, such as red onions. Dressing. Kachambari is typically dressed with freshly squeezed lemon juice which adds a tangy and citrusy flavor to the salad. Salt is commonly added to enhance the taste, and chili peppers can be included for those who enjoy some heat. The dressing is simple, allowing the flavors of the fresh vegetables to shine, flavor and texture. Kachambari offers a refreshing and crisp taste with a combination of flavors. The juicy tomatoes provide sweetness, while the onions add a sharp bite. The cucumbers contribute a cooling and crunchy texture to the salad. The combination of these ingredients creates a harmonious balance of flavors. Serving Kachambari is typically served chilled and enjoyed as a side dish or accompaniment to various meals. It pairs well with grilled meats, stews, rice dishes, and bread. It adds a vibrant and refreshing element to the overall meal. Nyama Choma Grilled or roasted meat, typically goat or beef, seasoned with spices and served with a side of fresh tomato and onion salad. Nyama choma is a beloved grilled meat dish that is popular in Burundi, as well as in many other East African countries. Nyama choma translates to grilled meat in Swahili, and it is often enjoyed as a social and celebratory food. Here's more information about Nyama choma, meat selection. Nyama choma typically refers to grilled beef or goat meat, which are the most commonly used meats for this dish. The meat is usually cut into large chunks or pieces, often with the bone in, to preserve its flavor and tenderness during grilling, marination and seasoning. The meat is often marinated before grilling to enhance its flavor. 
The marinade can consist of various ingredients, including a mixture of spices. Herbs, oil, vinegar or lemon juice, garlic, ginger, and onions. The marinade is applied to the meat and allowed to infuse for some time, typically several hours or overnight. Grilling process. Nyamachoma is traditionally grilled over an open flame or charcoal fire, which imparts a smoky flavor to the meat. The meat is placed directly on the grill or skewered and positioned over the heat source. It is cooked slowly and turned regularly to ensure even cooking and to prevent charring or burning. The goal is to achieve a crispy and slightly charred exterior while keeping the meat juicy and tender on the inside. Serving, Nyamachoma is typically served hot off the grill and cut into smaller pieces for sharing. It is often accompanied by a side of fresh tomato and onion salad, known as kachambari which adds a refreshing contrast to the rich flavors of the grilled meat. Other common accompaniments include yugali, a cornmeal-based staple, chapati, flatbread, or various dipping sauces. Ibiharaj, a traditional dish of cooked beans, often flavored with onion, garlic, and spices. Ibiharaj is a traditional dish from Burundi that consists of cooked beans, typically red kidney beans. It is a staple food in Burundian cuisine and is enjoyed as a main dish or as a side accompaniment to other meals. Here's more information about ibiharaj, bean selection. Red kidney beans are the most commonly used beans for ibiharaj, but other types of beans, such as pinto beans or black beans, can also be used. The beans are soaked in water before cooking to help soften them and reduce cooking time. Cooking process. The soaked beans are drained and then cooked in water until they become tender. The beans can be cooked on the stovetop in a pot or using a pressure cooker for faster cooking. Some variations may include flavoring the cooking water with onions, garlic, or spices to add extra taste to the beans. Seasoning. Once the beans are cooked, they are usually seasoned with a variety of ingredients to enhance their flavor. Common seasonings include onion, garlic, salt, and pepper. Other spices or herbs, such as cumin, paprika, or bay leaves, can also be added to further enhance the taste. Additional ingredients, ibiharaj can be served as a simple dish with just beans and seasonings, or additional ingredients may be added to make it more substantial. Some variations include adding vegetables like tomatoes, bell peppers, or leafy greens such as spinach or amaranth leaves to the beans during cooking. Serving, ibiharaj is typically served hot as a main dish, accompanied by other staple foods like yugali a thick cornmeal porridge, or rice. It can also be enjoyed as a side dish alongside grilled meat or other Burundian dishes. The beans provide a hearty and nutritious component to the meal. Ibiharaj is a popular and versatile dish that showcases the simplicity and nourishing aspects of Burundian cuisine. The combination of cooked beans with flavorful seasonings makes it a satisfying and comforting dish enjoyed by many in Burundi. Ijikoma, roasted corn on the cob, usually brushed with butter and sprinkled with salt and spices. Ijikoma is a traditional Burundian dish consisting of grilled or roasted chicken. It is a popular dish enjoyed in Burundi and is often prepared for special occasions, family gatherings, or as a treat for guests. Here's more information about Ijikoma, chicken preparation. Ijikoma is typically made with whole chickens or chicken pieces. The chicken is cleaned, seasoned, and marinated to enhance its flavor. The marinade can include a combination of spices, herbs, oil, vinegar, lemon juice, garlic, and onions. The chicken is allowed to marinate for a period of time, often several hours or overnight, to infuse the flavors into the meat, grilling or roasting. The marinated chicken is either grilled over an open flame or roasted in an oven until it is cooked through and develops a golden brown and slightly crispy exterior. Grilling imparts a smoky flavor to the chicken, while roasting in the oven provides even cooking and a juicy texture, seasoning, and spices. Traditional Burundian spices and herbs are often used to season the chicken. These can include a mixture of ingredients such as salt, black pepper, paprika, thyme, rosemary, or other locally preferred seasonings. The specific combination of spices can vary based on personal preferences and regional variations. Serving, Ijikoma is usually served hot and can be enjoyed as the main dish of a meal. It is often served with a side of fresh tomato and onion salad, kachambari, or other condiments.
Popular accompaniments can include yugali, a cornmeal-based staple food. Rice, or roasted vegetables. Cultural significance. Ijikoma holds cultural importance in Burundi and is often prepared for celebratory occasions and gatherings. It is a dish that brings people together, fostering a sense of community and enjoyment through shared meals.